Here we go. Won't you listen to reason? Well, you open your eyes. It's a wonder what you'll find. With an open we got John in San Francisco. Hi. How are you? Hi. I'm doing good. Um, I've been watching your show, and I'm a big fan. And I just want, I'm a theist, by the way. Okay. And I just want to know what makes atheism, the natural, naturalism worldview, more rational than all other worldviews. I mean, what kind of arguments can you present that would uh, defeat all other worldviews? Atheism is not a worldview. Um, what is it then? It's a response to a claim. The claim being that a God exists. But don't, doesn't atheists, don't they view the universe as non-contingent? They view the world as a um, certain way, particular way. They view evolution, science, everything a nothing, particular way. Nothing, there's no requirement for an atheist to believe any of those things. Naturalism is a worldview. Yes, naturalism, yes, naturalism is. is. Yeah. But that's not the same thing as atheism. Actually, you, you, would, you could argue that in some cases, atheism is the result of naturalism. And in other cases, it's not. For example, you've got uh, Buddhists, or the example we use a lot, um, the, the non-theistic brand of, of Buddhists are atheists. Um, and they have a, a worldview that's entirely uh, not compatible with naturalism. So are you just calling to ask why naturalism is... More rational than... Say monotheism or polytheism or uh, sure. theism. Sure, sure. The reason naturalism is more rational than any of the theisms is that they make an extra claim in addition to nature, and it's a violation of Occam's razor, the sharp end of Occam's razor. Um, what justification does atheism have that God does not exist? Um, atheism isn't the assertion that gods don't exist. Atheism, um, atheism. My understanding, atheism, by definition, is non-belief in a, in a God. Correct. Yes. Correct. Denial of the God. Co correct. Not, not well, necessarily denial. Well, I'll deny that the claims have been de demonstrated. Atheism yeah. is not the assertion that gods don't exist. It is the rejection of the claim that gods do exist as unsupported. God does not exist? I do not believe that any gods exist. Um, can I tell you, tell you that that's a positive claim to knowledge? And that no, it's not a positive no. claim to knowledge. I just said I do not believe that gods exist. In the same way that I say I do not believe that fairies exist. And I'm not, I'm not required to demonstrate that they actually don't. The default position is that existence must be demonstrated. I am not, assert, I am not asserting to know to any to, to, to an absolute certainty that no gods exist. If I had asserted that position, and I would have had this conversation gone a different way, that I actively believe there are no gods, but instead I'm saying I do not believe that gods exist. Please demonstrate that they do. God exists is a positive claim to knowledge by theists, and they use um, different arguments to justify that. Yeah. And um, why does the atheist have the default when um, God does not exist is as much as a positive claim as because God that's not what we said because saying. atheists aren't asserting God does not exist they're not asserting it's no, okay you're if you don't believe somebody's guilty are you asserting that they're innocent uh, innocent so proven guilty yes you're not asserting that they're innocent if you're on a jury you vote not guilty you don't vote innocent you vote not guilty Atheism is not guilty. Um, Anti-theism would be an assertion of innocence. Wouldn't uh, God exist and God not exist be a guilty or innocent verdict? Yes. And would, would we play an impartial juror? In deciding? No, no, you're confusing the actual state of, of affairs with respect uh, with someone's actual belief about those affairs. In fact, either some God exists or no gods exist. Those are the only two possibilities. But what you believe about those is different. In actuality, either the defendant is guilty or the defendant is innocent. 
But that is not that is that is the the state of God exists, God doesn't exist. The defendant is guilty. The defendant is innocent. But what you believe about those is different. And if until somebody demonstrates that the defendant is guilty, you are not justified in believing the defendant is guilty. You are in the position of rejecting this claim and voting not guilty, but that does not mean that you are convinced that the that the defendant is innocent. Likewise, what if, what if the evidence comes back that the uh, defendant is guilty? Well, in that case, then Where's, you, you it, say that you're a theist, so yeah. what evidence do you have that your beliefs are correct? I have um, the different arguments that presented by philosophers. Those, are, those no, 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 aren't no, no, evidence. Those, those aren't arguments. evidence. Those aren't evidence. Can you define evidence? It's <laughs> wow. It's something that demonstrates that your claim is true. It's data. It's but it, but in any case, every one of those. Hey, hang on. There are arguments and evidence. Evidence supports arguments. Evidence becomes the premises of arguments that lead to conclusion. You're saying that you believe because of the classical philosophical arguments for the existence of God. None of those are logically valid and sound. Please present one that is. Um, the Kalam cosmological argument. The Kalam cosmological argument. Yes. You, you think that it's valid and sound and sufficient to demonstrate the existence of a God? I've uh, went through every premise, and there, so far there has not been a defeater for each premise. Um, I've been uh, actually looking it up. No, 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 you don't look for a necessarily, you don't have to have a defeater for each premise, you have to have a confirmer for each premise. The fact that somebody hasn't demonstrated a premise to be false, and by the way, with regard to Kalam, I don't necessarily buy that, but the fact that we have not demonstrated a premise to be false does not mean the fem premise is true, in the same way that the fact that we haven't demonstrated a, a, a defendant to be guilty doesn't mean that he's innocent. The content of this video is produced by the Atheist Community of Austin, a nonprofit educational organization promoting positive atheism and the separation of church and state. If you enjoyed this content and are willing and able to provide a donation, please visit the website below.